hi this is emily and this is wavy hair care my youtube channel and my blog is wavyhaircare.com so if you've been following my channel then you know that i just recently posted a haircut video but i had recorded like three videos last summer and then just edited and uploaded them in like february my hair has grown out a ton since i did that last haircut i did really like that haircut and it worked well for me but i haven't cut my hair since like july it's gotten really long and my little sister jordan is here with me she's gonna help me do a new haircut we'll show you guys how it goes that's why my hair is in this weird style i guess right now is i have three ponytails um based on a tutorial that i'll link in the description it basically gives a textured bob it's pretty simple, but you have to like kind of be behind yourself. So that's why I'm having help for this. This one's up. Then this one I'm gonna let you clip. I'm just gonna keep it up in the front like that. Yeah, it's like heavy enough. It's just It'll the just start. Okay, I'll take it out of the way. Oh. Did you hit record? Now? I did. Thank you. <laughs> like right there? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, Don't be scared. I'm the <laughs> one. I'm, I'm the one telling you to do it. So if it's if it's messed up, it's my fault. Now you lose. <laughs> I'm always scared when I cut my own hair, but it's almost always worked out when following tutorials like this. Like they're usually pretty good. My heart, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so much hair. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, let me just even this out a little okay. bit. Man, this is gonna be so much lighter. Oh. Hair has been so heavy. You hear tinkling. It is a cat water <laughs> I always feel like it sounds like a fish tank. A fish tank? Yeah. The thing that's like kind of really cool about having like wavy hair that I usually, when my hair's not insanely long like a style wavy, is that it doesn't have to be like all perfectly the same length the way that straight hair does because each wave is a little bit different yeah, on little, tightness anyway. Yeah. So I think that's part of why it's not nearly as scary to do an at-home haircut if you have wavy hair versus straight hair. I tried cutting my own hair as a teenager when I was wearing it straight and that's like the only time I've ever like really botched. <laughs> that looks really good. Okay. Now we're at the pause and look at the next one. Yeah. Okay. Well then this next step is we're gonna use this lower part that we've or that we've cut that she's cut for me. And you use it as like a guide when it's at a 90 degree angle to cut the second layer and then repeat that on the top trying on the top um ponytail. I don't think that's gonna be my way not to clip it. Okay. It's kind of a benefit of it being so long is that it like will actually kind of stay. Yeah. So. I'm gonna go a little bit longer just so I don't cut too much. Yeah. And then I'll work my way up with the scissors and the um well the comb and the scissors. Yeah, that makes sense. Airing on the too long side yeah. definitely feels safer. The last time that I did a at-home haircut, I did one where you have to cut it just in pigtails. And when my hair is in pigtails, it's so thick. There are other tutorials where you just put it in a ponytail at like the front of your head and cut it all in one huge ponytail. Like, I think I just have too much hair for that. The scissors, like, I don't know, it's, it's intense when you have thick hair. Try this little... Come on. Did not mean to grab your hair. Oh, you're funny. Okay. It didn't, yeah, like I felt it tug, but it didn't like hurt or anything. Probably because your hair is so freaking thick. <laughs> I don't feel nothing. <laughs> Okay, 
then I take the second one and I do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty easy. I'm gonna brush it. My hair doesn't usually like tangle at all and it started tangling. So that's another one of the so, reasons yeah. why I was like, my hair used to, to tangle cutting. when I was little, when I had hair down to my butt. Yeah. It yeah. tangled and then now like my hair is not that long anymore and I've noticed it tangling a lot. Mm, yeah. Well, when you were little, you had like some curl to it too. And I feel like little kids, especially with like wavy or curly hair tend to like get knots easier for some reason. Like, Yeah, I think this is the longest my hair has been since I started the Curly Girl Method in 2018. Like, yeah. My hair was like down to almost down to my butt back then. But it was because I used to grow my hair as long as possible to get it to be like not poofy. Yeah. I didn't understand why it was poofy. It's like, oh, that's brushed out weeks. But yeah, it tangled really bad before I started the curly girl method but it was because my I was never cutting it so I think that I had like tons of split ends and stuff like that It feels so short to me. Oh my, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm um, just excited to take it out and see what's going on. I guess I should yeah. just do it on camera, right? I was gonna like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole pepper. <laughs> that, yeah, that does look like a whole pepper. <laughs> that's like another reason for um, cutting this is um, like <gasps> we have to- Oh, I did such a good job. <laughs> um, I'm so proud of myself. Yay. Oh my goodness, oh my this feels goodness. so much shorter and like in a good way. I'm gonna go in and touch up a little bit yeah. to make it not look so... I wanna see you really quick. Oh yeah. I'm gonna oh, test it a little bit on the ends cause it's a little... Wow, this feels so light. This like oh, really yeah. isn't short, but it seems it short to me, it. yeah. I probably should have taken a picture just of me like standing with my hair down. I feel like it was like almost my natural waist. Yeah. Crazy. I kind of like having long hair, but it kind of becomes a pain in the butt, too. Yeah. I noticed, like, it, I am less inclined to style it wavy just because it takes so much longer to dry when it's really long. I'm leaving your front pieces for the end. Quick. have had at least guys who have like you know traditionally masculine short haircuts they've been able to do their own for, for effort so it's kind of nice that like now that we have youtube and stuff girls can save money too. yeah i mean that's where i learned how to cut my hair for the first time and i actually did a half decent job except chloe had to do my back because it was so bad yeah yeah it's really hard the the back side the last time that I cut my hair, I did it completely myself, but it wasn't really like a cut cut. It was more shaping. And like this time my hair was so long. It's like, okay, I need like an actual, like I want to remove length this time. And I couldn't find any haircuts that I liked that removed a lot of length without needing somebody to be behind you. See, for the most part, I think I did a good job because there's not a lot of spaces where, or not a lot of places where it does need do that on its own with the angle as it is like how you oh that's awesome it. yeah i'm just trying to blend that's awesome. well and like they had this like same channel had a bob haircut that's like literally just like one length or whatever but with my hair being pretty thick i thought like having some layering, layering to it, it looks really really good layers thanks i'm so proud of myself this looks so freaking good it's exciting these hair salons didn't hire me <laughs> you should do you should still go to i i really thought about it i still get messages from douglas J because I, I would love to go to douglas J only because they have a business 
course within their program. Oh, they do? Yeah. To like help you be like an independent. Right, um, because when me and mom were originally talking about it, we were thinking LCC because they have a business program. Oh, and okay. LCC is not, you know, an expensive yeah, college. Yeah. So it's like a graduated on the side like it was supposed to be. So it's like shorter in, in the, the back, back and but, longer in the front. Yeah, but that's how it was supposed to be. I feel like it would turn out really good. So these are my results for now. I will probably tomorrow style it wavy and then throw in a little clip showing you guys what it looks like wavy. A lot of times after styling it for the first time, there might be like one little tiny bit here or there that I'll need to trim up that happens even when I go to a hair salon, but I'm um, definitely feeling really good about how this turned out. I'll definitely link the tutorial for this in the description. It has been about a week since my sister cut my hair. I've styled my hair, I think twice between then and today. So I think today was the third time since it's been cut. I just wasn't able to film it for, oh, Pepper, don't scratch that. Anyway, I've been really happy with my hair since getting it cut. It is still really thick. I think if I had gone in to have it cut by a professional, they probably would have found a way to lighten it a little bit more than what this did. But I'm still really happy with this. It's really nice to not have like all that extra length and weight on it. I found it really easy to style. I haven't had to make any like meaningful adjustments to the way that I style my hair, like the same type of diffusing, the same product application techniques work for me as I was using before. It's just a lot shorter now. I just thought I would show you um, all the way around. It um, is nice how short it is in the back. The first time that I washed it after having it cut, I didn't style it. And I noticed that even when not styled, the back in particular where it's shortest was really trying to be wavy on its own, even though I had tried to brush it and stuff to kind of straighten it a little bit. I had been used to being able to just like brush my hair right out of the shower and then brush it again a couple times throughout the drying, air drying process if I wanted to style my hair pretty straight and that didn't really work in the very back of my hair. Now it's too wavy to just be brushed out straight and let left to dry. So I think I would have to actually use a straight iron on the back if I wanted it to like truly be straight. But I don't really care about that. I think it's cool that it seemed to assist with my curl pattern a little bit. I'm definitely happy with this. If you guys give this haircut a try, I would love to see or hear how it goes. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also, just to show, so the most recent video that I uploaded included pepperoni when she was only two months old. And so this is how big she is now. So that tells you how long it has been since we did an updated video. So she is, I think, 10 months old now, something like that. So she may grow a little bit, but she's gotten absolutely huge, but she's still adorable if you ask me. Um, we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> she, she put her ear down like, don't kiss me.